guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to go over a new way that I've started using OmniFocus for kind of blocking and batching my time. I've done a video on this before for a system that I used for a, quite a while, several, several months, um, if not close to a year, of using Notion as a way to kind of look at what's in OmniFocus and block it in kind of these like higher level chunks and then look at your calendar to schedule that. I've actually figured out a workflow that I've been really happy with inside of OmniFocus that I've been using for the past several weeks. I enjoy it a lot more because it's all inside of one system. I also use OmniFocus for the web pretty heavily because um, my work computer is a PC. So this, again, you're using one app, it translates over, it's easy to see, it's a good visual. So I wanted to kind of take you through what this process looks like. I will link the other one down below, um, but this will, it's doing the exact same thing, it's just using one less tool. So when I talk about blocking my time, the way that I look at it is I have a today perspective that I set up for myself each day. And the way that I do my tasks is I have everything at like the most granular level which means that I have a lot of tasks. You know, just today I have 22 things on my list to do. When I look at this, I'm kind of paralyzed by it. You know, I'm like, oh, what do I do next? What do I do first? What's the highest priority? What's going to take me the longest? I have all these decisions that I'm trying to make just looking at this list. Really, this is my list to make sure I complete, but this isn't necessarily the order of how I want to do it during my day. So I look at this and I create blocks of tasks that relate to each other in some way and schedule those throughout the day. So sometimes when I'm looking through my list, I'm grouping things either by like the project that they're related to. You know, I have a lot of things related to this invoicing cycle. Sometimes I'm doing it by the mindset that I need to be in. So let me do, you know, all these little miscellaneous things together. And sometimes I'm doing it by just what tool is necessary. You know, if I have a lot of reissues to do for invoices, let me get through all of those because it's much more efficient to batch my time there. So the basic setup that I've done is I have two main folders in my system where every task lives, non-work and work. I have set up this series of projects to be in kind of my admin folder because I don't want these showing up in any of my other perspectives. These are going to kind of be like redundant tasks if you think about it, and very specific perspectives will pick these up. So I look at my time by three main areas. I have my work time, I have my personal time, and I have my family time. Work is my typical kind of like nine to five-ish type job. Family is when my husband is home from his job, and then personal is the time in between. So when I look at my today list, I'm saying, okay, what are the things that need to be done with my husband? What are the things that need to be done at work? And what's everything else that needs to get done? When I pull open my calendar, that is also kind of how I've had this laid out. So I added in a couple meetings just for example sake here. But generally speaking, I think about my day as having these focus blocks, which is my time to do work. And I have three two-hour blocks for work. I do work longer than six hours, but I'm only scheduling myself six hours of work in a day because things come up, there's meetings, there's things take longer, um, whatever the case might be. I have about an hour and a half that I kind of do for personal time, and then I have about two hours for kind of family time. That will be useful here in a minute. The other thing I do when I am looking at blocking tasks is I use the Pomodoro method where I look at working at 25 interval or 25 minute intervals with like a five minute break. So when I'm scheduling my day with tasks, I'm not so concerned about the exact minutes that task will take. I'm saying how many Pomodoros or how many 30 minute increments do I think this will take? That's how I'm structuring my time and saying, can I do it all in today? So let's go ahead and start, and I think this will make a little bit more sense. So with my today list, I also have a today work, today personal, and today family that takes this list and divides it into those three time chunks for me. 
If you're curious how I have this set up, I will link my OmniFocus playlist below. I do have a video just covering like my today perspectives and tags and all those different things. So for purposes of this video, I'm just going to look at my today work. So I'm saying, okay, here's what I have to do. In my head, I'm already starting to group some of these things up. So I'm saying, okay, like new client stuff is going to take a little bit. Loading accounts is its own thing. Um, price increases or something. This is a pretty quick task. This is quick. This is quick. This is quick. And then email is email. Sometimes it's quick. Sometimes it's not. So when I'm putting in my projects over here or my blocks, I'm going to say, okay, let's um, do price increases. Can't type today. Let's do new client work. Let's see. We had Jira Q miscellaneous small tasks. Um, what else was on here? Oh, email was on there. And loading accounts. So really, in these few items here, I've captured everything on this list, but I've grouped it in the way that's logical to me based upon the tasks and based upon my day. So the next thing I go through and do is I'm going to use a little tomato because I like emojis and just estimate how long I think these will take. So price increases, I think an hour, I think an hour for new client work. I think I could move through my Jira queue pretty quickly today. You know, the small tasks involved are probably 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to limit myself to 30 minutes of email and then loading accounts. You know, I could spend hours and hours, but I'm going to say I'm going to do one hour of work today. So then I'm saying, okay, well, when do I want to do these tasks? So this is the next setup I've done in OmniFocus. Every day, this is my baseline. I have my first focus block, my second, my third, my fourth, and my fifth with these times. This is the baseline that I start with. And then obviously the days adjust as meetings pop up and other things happen. But what I've done is in my tags... I've created the same columns of data that I had in my Notion set up for this to be reflected in tags. And I'll show you the views here and why I did that. So for my time blocks, my AM ritual is really like the, this time up here. I really don't put tasks in OmniFocus for this time, but it's there. I also kind of have like a shutdown and I have like a PM. So I have reflected those here. But then I have, you know, here's my first block, here's my second, here's my third. I've also put in priority. So I can only have three priorities each day for each area of my life. At work, I can only have a top three list. And if those three things get done, great. Everything else is a nice to have. This is a really hard decision, but this is really critical to making sure you're effective with your day. And then I also have the Eisenhower matrix where, you know, you look at like urgent, and important, not urgent and important. So depending on what I'm doing, these are kind of the three ways I look at my blocks. So let's come back here. So let's assign a block of time to when I want to do these. So I'm going to say email. This is really good in the afternoon because I'm brain dead. Same with this, you know, I'm brain dead in the afternoon. Um, New client work, you know, this is pretty time intensive, so I want to do that at the start of my day. Um, same with price increases, you know, that's pretty intense. I'm going to say, okay, you know what, Jira Q, that's pretty intense too, so let's do that. And then loading accounts, let's just throw it in block two. So usually what I'll do, um, this is typically how many tasks I have in here too. I don't really get much more than this by the time I block it up. So now I'm saying, okay, well, I know that each of these work blocks is two hours, which is four 30 minute increments or four tomatoes. <laughs> this is why I like the visual because it's really easy. Right away, I have overbooked myself for the morning. I'm saying I have scheduled two and a half hours of work for two hours of time. Let's go ahead and let's move this to block two. So I'm accepting that I cannot do that in the morning. And now I'm saying, okay, 
I've fulfilled that time. Block two, you know, I could fit one more Pomodoro in there, but I think that's good. I have some meetings today, and then I have one hour scheduled for block three. So if I look over here, that's pretty on point because I have 30 minutes of this block two taken up with a meeting. I've scheduled an hour and a half worth of work, so that seems reasonable. I have one hour of work for the afternoon with a meeting in there. So I'm saying, yeah, you know what? I could put more in this day, but this actually looks pretty good to me. So then the next thing I go through is I go through and I select my priorities. What is the most important thing that I do today? I'm going to say it is new client work. Then the second, I'm going to say it's price increase work. And then the third, you know, even though these are small tasks, clients are waiting for some reissues. I need to get those out the door. And then everything else has to be nice to have. You have to be okay that you could only get those three things done. So then the other way that I do it, and I don't do this way every day, but I look at the Eisenhower matrix category. So I'm saying, is any of these things urgent? Um, really, this is probably the most urgent. And it is important because it is impacting clients. So I've selected that. Um, these things are not urgent, but important. Um, so not urgent and important. And then really these things are, you know, ev everything's important. Like you don't just, you know, uh, do nothing at work, but really in the scope of today and like the scheme of the next few days, these aren't urgent and these aren't that important. So now I've set up my work blocks. I could do the same for personal and the same for family. I'm just going to do it for work for this demonstration. So now comes the time of actually using this information. So I have a few perspectives. I have one that I've set up that will show me. Um, I'll show you the settings for it real quick. So it's going to reference that folder of projects and it's going to pick up anything flagged and I'll show you why here in a minute. And this is what it looks like. So it is going to like duplicate things because again, we've, tight, we've tagged it with one of these and one of these and one of these, but that's intentional. So usually how I am handling my workday is I'm coming in here, I am hitting time block, and this is my list for the day. Whenever I am confused of what I should be doing next, this is where I come to see if I'm on track. I put my hours of the blocks in the name because it's really helpful for me to see it in here. And so if we are live with this and we're saying, okay, here's my day. And I'm saying, cool, it's noon. I've done none of this yet. There was a lot more on my to-do list that I checked off before this. So I have been working, but let's just pretend this is it. And I've done nothing today because Something's blown up. There was meetings I was dragged into. There were a whole bunch of things that consumed my time this morning that I had to focus on. I can say, ooh, well, I'm going to have to cut some stuff. This is where I start to look at these things down here. So if I look at the Eisenhower, I'm saying there's only one thing that's urgent and important. That's still on track because it's in block three. So I'm saying I'm okay there. But I could look at my priority and say new client work that I should get rescheduled. So maybe I say, well, I still have an hour and a half of block two. So let me move that into block two. Price increases, you know, same thing. Let's move that into block two. And then if I look at my time block view, again, I'm just selecting time block. So I just see these things once. Right away, I have way more work here than I can do in two hours because I can only fit four tomatoes in there. So, you know, let's say, okay, JiraQ, you know what? We're going to drop you today. We just can't fit you in. That's okay because it's not urgent, it's not important, and it's just a nice to have. I feel okay about that. Loading accounts, it's important, but it's not urgent. This down here is urgent. An email I know if I don't stay on top of, I just get behind. So if I had to pick one of these, I'd rather pick email and move this to tomorrow. If I'm looking at noon, you know, I'm still 30 minutes over budget right now. Um, I've done some of the work on this already this morning. So for real life purposes, this is fine. 
But that's really how I use these tags and I use this view because I can easily evaluate and switch things around. And it takes about that long. You know, it takes less than five minutes to regroup for the day. If your day completely gets blown up, then I start to work out of the priority rather than the time block view. And I'm saying, okay, let's get the first thing done first. Let's get the second thing done second. Without me having to revisit this list and get overwhelmed and not really know what to do. If I'm looking for, do I have time to squeeze something in today? Do I want to take off early? Do I have to go do X, Y, Z? I might jump down to the Eisenhower matrix and take a look at it that way. So if it's urgent, it probably needs to be done today. So I probably need to get these cleared before I call it quits for the day. You know, if I, if I had the luxury to like only work a few hours a day. These are things that are important. So this is really where I want to be spending my time today if I can, but I recognize that these things have some urgency around it and I should probably try to address those first. The other perspectives I have is again, by work, personal and family, it's just doing that block tag in that way as well. So this is everything within that block project and then this is just dividing it up by the different areas. Um, I will have a video on flags coming soon if it's not up already, but one of the ways that I utilize flags is to get it to show up in every perspective I use to kind of run my day. So I use these block perspectives and my today perspectives. And sometimes something comes to me that I need to do and I don't want to do the overhead to get it in my system, but I need to not forget it. Um, and so I throw it in the inbox or I find it in my system and put a flag on it. And no matter what perspective I'm in, it's going to show up as something I need to do. So I can't forget it. So I really like flags for that use case because I do kind of have two different ways I look at my day. Today lists and then block lists. And then sometimes I will have in my calendar, you know, maybe when I did my weekly planning, I said this time was going to be for price increases. Um, I have these like time management calendars for each area of my life again, where I will put in tasks that I need to do at a certain time or that I want to make sure there's time set aside kind of on a weekly basis. So again, I can kind of see if I'm lining up there with what's being done, but I don't put all of these into my calendar. I just know that, you know, for right now, I'm working through my focus block too. So I'm working through these items here. So it helps keep you on track. I can also reference my today list for, you know, what's all the new client work I need to do. I can come back and really look at those tasks for, to guide me through that time that I'm working on it. But the decision of what's next, what do I do now? Am I overloaded for the day? How do I reallocate my day? Those decisions are being done at a block level because it's much easier to move blocks around than it is a million individual tasks. So like I said, this is really just an update on how I showed you originally with Notion because I wanted to kind of drop Notion as an app, not entirely, but as an app I had to do and be in every single day because their, their mobile app is just not up to par for what I want. So I really wanted to run this out of OmniFocus. The other nice thing is I do use this on my watch and I have it show me my blocks so I can always see what's next and what I should be working on which is pretty cool too. So if you have any questions about this setup, let me know. Um, I will link an OmniFocus playlist, like I mentioned, that will kind of cover a lot of these other things that I touched on in more detail if you have questions on those. Um, and then try this out, see if this kind of uh, mechanism works for you with how you think about your day to help not to over schedule your day. I found it really beneficial particularly on the days where I get bombarded and I get completely off track, it's really easy for me to come back and prioritize and address what I need to do without having to spend a lot of time to get there. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.